Hello everyone, Mike back with another Let's Play. Today I am playing Panoramical. This really isn't a game as much as it is a, um, a kind of a landscape generator kind of thing. It's pretty cool though, so we're going to continue. And we have these different scenes we can select. We're going to go here. And then you unlock all these later on. But, go to this one. And then you use your um, keyboard or your controller to set coordinates to each button on your controller. And it generates these random landscapes, kind of. And then you kind of just travel through those landscapes. And it's kind of... It's very relaxing. It's kind of hard to explain, but... So we're going to set my Y button. We're going to move my coordinates up to here. The X button. We'll have those maybe over here. B button will be over here, and the A button will be in the opposite corner. Right bumper is over here. Set that there. And then we have our arrow keys we can set up too. So up arrow will be the very top. Bottom arrow will be the coordinate will be in the middle. Uh, left arrow will have that there, and the right arrow will do the opposite side. And it's generating this kind of um, weird landscape. It looks kind of like a river with um, either comets or shooting stars coming down out of it and stuff bouncing around. And you can change this stuff on the fly, too. So I can adjust this and adjust that. And then it adjusts based on where the um, coordinates are. You can also take screenshots just like that with the right bumper. And as you move the coordinates, the scene will change. So, I'm going to move, take another shot. We're going to move this top one down. And I'm actually going to set everything to that same coordinate. Let's see what that does. This kind of reminds me of a DS game Electroplankton in how you um, had different um, objects and they can make different sounds and things like that. This is like that visually. It's pretty cool. So we're going to move our grid again. Move this one. And then when you um, get it set up the way you want, you can just um, just watch it, watch your, watch it progress. It's kind of, one of the reviews I read said it was kind of like a, a meditation simulator. I could see that. Put on some good headphones and just kind of uh, like like zone out looking at this um, these pretty interesting visuals. And you want to click in your left thumbstick when you're finished. And we'll go on to um, another one. this load itself, and then we'll adjust the coordinates again. So what do we get here? Looks like we're underwater, maybe with some seaweed and some uh, air bubbles coming down or something like that.
take a screenshot. I'm gonna travel to the next world. And the next one should be available available for us to go to. Yep, there it is. I'm gonna jump into this one. Obviously, the position on the coordinate is, is going to determine how much of any object is on there. So, right now, there's pretty much none of that. And now, there's a lot. And a lot to different directions. I don't want that much of it, so we'll go with that. Pillars of light coming down and um, balls of light going up. It's pretty interesting. It can be pretty relaxing too, just to look at it. I'm gonna grab a screenshot of this one, and you can also share these photos. You can um, share them on Twitter. You just have to, um, you know, allow this program to work with Twitter. I haven't done that yet, but um, I'm probably going to do that in a little bit. Head back, though. We're going to move on to one more of these. And I think all you have to do is just go through one and transition in or out of it to unlock the others. I'm going to transition to this one. Looks like we're walking through some kind of like ice canyon right now. I'm gonna adjust this just a little bit, see what we get. Some rings, okay, turn those on or off. Just hit. Want those on, but not a ton of it. This one kinda changes the direction, so it's like a winding canyon looking now. Go with that.
take a, one more screenshot of this one. And again, you know, you can just sit here, kind of zone out. It's really relaxing. I'll leave a link in the description to the Steam page if you want to check it out. I want to thank the developers for giving me this review copy. Um, as always, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Thanks again for watching. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the button right below. You can also follow me on Twitter, and if you want to support me, you can do so on Patreon by clicking that button. Again, I want to thank you for watching, and have a good one.